<laughs> so let's talk about um, because you know when we do the the actual session, mm -hmm. let's talk about what has happened to get you to this energetic level. What, what, oh, the yeah. Okay, okay. So so how did it all start with, with the energy yeah. or yeah, with the energy because well, that's what you're doing. I mean, right? Of course. It's um, like you're. I can, I can, um, I won't spend too long on my childhood, but I said when I would, you know, put my matchbox cards on the floor yes. when I was young and I used to try to move them. And then when I would sit in my room, we had a shelf and I, there was like stuff on there. I would, I would try to, you know, make them fall off. You, you knew intuitively. And I wasn't upset that I couldn't move them. I just, I know I, it wasn't time for me to move. Them. I wasn't upset at all. Um, and then when I would wake up, that thing I was looking at would be on the floor. So I believed everything and I, and I've never, um, now, I mean, not then, but um, nothing is off the table for me. I know that. I know that without a doubt. Yeah. Nothing is off the table. Nothing. The best is to come. Yeah. <laughs> Who comes before you? Who is that? <sighs> Looks like myself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Take a moment and listen to what it is that he needs to say to you today. What does he say? You're doing fine. Mm -hmm. So let me speak with him. What is it that John needs to know at this point in his life? What does he need to know? Besides, he's doing fine. Yes. He knows it all. He knows it all, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Well, he wanted to know a little bit about the connection with Yeshua. Would you be willing to take him on a journey to explore what it is that he, yes. how it is that he connects. Very good. So I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, you will be at the moment in time which answers this question. One, two, and three. Where are you? the first thing you notice it's a long time ago yes mm -hmm. are you male or female there male male yes tell me about yourself where are you <sighs> kind of in a realm mm -hmm. yes tell me more Like not a lifetime, like a human lifetime, mm -hmm. in like a realm or a dimension. Yes. What type of form do you take in this realm? I feel like still myself. Very good, yes. Yes, continue. I feel face to face. Yes. Face to face with whom? With Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Yeshua. bright, mm -hmm. colorful, yeah. not just white. Mm -hmm. Yes, continue.
Does he take on a form in this place? It's just his face with a smile. Mm hmm Yes. And you said he looked colorful. What colors do you see coming from him? Uh, it's the skin tone, but with like a yellow mm -hmm. or orange tint. Yes. What else do you notice? Long hair. Mm -hmm. Yes, continue. I can see his body now. Mm -hmm. He's wearing a robe with sandals or some kind of moccasins. Yes. And the more you talk, the more you'll see. Now I feel like I'm separated, like I'm viewing him. Mm-hmm. Yes. With a cart, with mules or something. Mm-hmm. Where are you when you see this? Desert, Middle East. Yes. Take a moment and just describe the scenario for me so that you can allow yourself to be there completely. There are a few people, mm. almost like family. Yes. I think a child. Mm -hmm. So take a moment now and just connect so that you know who these family members are. My family. Mm hmm. Yes. It might be just us three. Mm hmm. So tell me who is there with you. The baby and I think my wife. Mm hmm. What do you call your wife? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. What does she call you? The first one I got was John. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, continue. What, what did you say? Continue. What was that? Continue. What's oh, happening? Continue. Mm -hmm. She says we have to go. Yes. What <laughs> is, where is it that you need to go to? Moving forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. A long way. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling in this moment of moving? I feel good. Mm -hmm. And what is the reason why you need to move forward and go a long way? Where is it that you're going? New beginning. Mm -hmm. What has happened that you need to go? Just a separation. Mm hmm Yes, tell me more about the separation. Who are you separating from? I don't know, others, I think it's others like myself. Mm hmm Yes. But it was my choice to leave. Yes.
Yes, what happens next? I think we're going to meet somebody. Mm -hmm. Very good. So advance forward to the moment in which you are meeting whoever it is you need to meet. I don't know who it is. Mm -hmm. Very knowledgeable he is. Yes. Have you gotten there with, with this other person? <laughs> Excuse me? Have you gotten there already? Yes. Yes. And what does this other person look like? Is he young or old? Older. Older, yes. We're going to meditate. Very good. Yes. What happens? We meditate. Mm -hmm. And what happens after you meditate? I meet my father. Mm -hmm. Do you meet your father in this meditation? Yes. Yes. Tell me about that. Overwhelming. Yes, who is your father? The creator. Mm -hmm. Yes, what happens when you meet your creator, your father? He's pleased. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Tell me more about this meeting with your father. There's no words. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's recharging me. Very good. So as he recharges you, ensure that you connect to where you can recharge at any time directly without the meditation. I can. Very good. And as you recharge, what is the reason for this moment now where he has recharged you? What are you meant to do with all of this energy moving forward? Share it. Mm-hmm. Share the Creator's energy? Yes. Yes. My energy. Mm-hmm. Very good. Not through voice. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is there a way in which the Creator, your Father, has told you to share. It will happen. Mm hmm Yes. There's no other choice. What is the reason why you have either been chosen or selected to send out this energy?
like I said before, I know everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's all here mm -hmm. and there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, tell me more. It's easy. Mm hmm. Yes. And what is the connection with Yeshua? As I'm speaking, I am Him. Very good. So, Yeshua, what is the reason in which John has come here to give his energy out? What, what is his mission in this incarnation? And it's basic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have anything to do with it? Yes. Yes. Tell me, tell me how it is that you influence him as Yeshua. I was going to say I can be him. Mm -hmm. I am him. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you lived as Yeshua, you were able to heal people with your yes. energy. All they had to do was touch a part of your body. They had to be in your presence. Uh, yes. Is this what John is doing now? Yes. In this incarnation? Same thing. Same thing. Tell me more about that. It's automatic. Mm-hmm. Yes. When he found the trust, it became automatic. Mm -hmm. Or he was It was always automatic. But now he realizes it. And he is enhancing his abilities from the human standpoint. The energetic connection was always healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. When did this begin? When he was born. Mm -hmm. So explain that to me. Is he a fractal of your life or did he get the energy? Explain a little bit more technically how it is that he came to be who he is. It feels like more than a fractal. Yes.
I feel the aspect of a fractal. It is gone now. Mm -hmm. I feel more as him. Yes. More complete. Yes. And what is John meant to do with these abilities moving forward? He knows. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me more about that, so that he can hear it. There's not a lot of words. It's... The... It's complete. He knows it all. Mm -hmm. So he has access to all of this. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why he lives the way he does, without any fears, just... Correct. In the now. Very good. What else does he need to know that he doesn't know? He knows it all. Mm -hmm. So what kind of connection does he have in order to access it all? Akashic. Mm -hmm. He's able to access he the Akashic. He knows it all. Okay, very good. One of the questions he had was about Mother Mary. Would you... Explain to me what her role is in his life. I feel her as mom energy. Mm hmm. Yes. The religion aspect is confusing mm -hmm. because I feel her as a mom or my mom. Yes. So, let's do something. Allow her to use your voice. I'm going to count to three and let me speak with Mother Mary so that she, in her own words, can explain what she does with John. One two and three switch mother mary what is your role in john's life i protect you protect so he tells me that you hold down his feet what is it that you're doing with him while he works with people? Yes. Protect. He needs to ground. Okay. What happens if he doesn't ground? He's out of his head. Mm -hmm. Yes. He needs to ground more than the average. <sighs> Gifted. Mm -hmm. So in what way do you ground him? I become the earth. Mm. So you hold his feet yes. to the ground. 
Yes. And how does that affect his work while he's doing his healings? connects with the mother Gaia. Mm -hmm. Yes. And all others. Yes. It opens the channel. Mm -hmm. Is this something that all healers should do? Should they be grounding themselves? Yes. Mm -hmm. So He needs more. He needs more of that. So what advice do you give to John and any other healer about when they do their work to protect them? Call on Mother Gaia. Mm-hmm. Your human mom. Mm, yes. And she will protect the energy? Yes. Mm -hmm. And how would you know that you are connected? Is there a way for someone to know that they've connected with Mother Gaia? I know it. I I feel it. Mm -hmm. It's another thing where there's no words. Mm -hmm. It's just a knowing. It's a knowing. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's gratitude you feel mm -hmm. from her and the planet. Yes. You keep her alive. When you ground and you channel healing energy. Yes. So, Mother Mary, I'd like for you to give me some more information about how it is that John actually does the healing. Is he pulling this directly from Father Creator? Or it all it? comes from Father Creator. Yes. And how does it come from him as a human vessel? He has traveled a long time. Mm -hmm. He has met everyone and everything he has needed to meet. And the connections come automatically mm -hmm. from with the client or being or objects need at that moment. It's all available to him. Mm -hmm. So anytime he needs to do his work, it's just automatic. It's memory. It's, okay. It's like a soul memory for him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And there's a human memory involved also. Okay. Tell me about that. Human DNA. Would you trace back this human DNA? How far back does it go? <sighs> he 
human DNA also includes all. I see it on a molecular stru uh, structure or level. Yes. Every cell is everything he knows. Mm hmm And has experienced. In every lifetime? Or in this lifetime? Every lifetime. Mm hmm Yes. So he has access, easy access to all of this yes. information. His memory comes from his cells. Okay. Using that from his mind. Mm hmm Do all humans have access to that in their cells? On a uh, prorated level, mm -hmm. on their experience. Yes. You cannot mean remember what you haven't experienced. Okay. So if a soul has experienced a lot in many different lifetimes, it's all contained within their cells? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, tell me more about that. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy for you, but just for explaining. It's, um, it's similar to like a giant hard drive. Okay. So if a soul has not lived that many experiences, they won't have access to it? No. Okay. But this soul, the one that is John now, he's been everywhere? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the most prominent lifetime or places in which this soul has lived? It's not physical. Mm -hmm. Is it a different dimension? Yes. Okay. Tell me about that dimension. It feels like almost as a creator. Mm -hmm. Yes. Almost as the creator. Mm hmm. Yes. That's why he has experienced all. Okay, very he good. He has created all. He's created all. Very good. So let's go there now. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, you'll be in that realm as her creator. One, two, and three. You're there now. What is this place? Yes. It's an expression. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how do you express yourself when you're in this place? It's an expression of what is. Mm -hmm. will come. Mm -hmm. So in this realm, you'll be able to see what will come 
in the lifetime as John. It's a, a loop, a cons mm -hmm. consistent loop. Tell me about that loop. With no beginning and no ending. Mm -hmm. It's all at once. Yes. So what is the loop that is being created for John's life? Beginning mm -hmm. and end. Mm -hmm. I don't understand it, but it feels like the same thing. Yes. Zoom in on it a little bit closer to get more detailed on that. The The end is always the beginning. Mm -hmm. So he's had many endings in his life, which has propelled him into new adventures, new people. Excuse me? He's had many endings that has propelled him into new beginnings. Yes. Where is he now? Is he at an ending point or at a beginning point? <sighs> he feels like he's at an end. Yes. <sighs> so when does the end join the new beginning? He's at an end, which will create a new beginning mm -hmm. as a creator. Mm -hmm. It's a consistent loop. Okay. What will he be creating? All is created. It's more as an activation. Okay. Of what already is. Mm -hmm. So, has he already created his whole life, the endings and beginnings? Yes. Yes. He is complete. He's complete, yes. So, why is it that he limits himself? It's the humanity mm -hmm. he refuses to accept. Yes. What would be so bad about accepting his humanity? He expects more. Mm -hmm. There's always more. Yes. He thinks there's a separation. Yes. Where is the separation created? His mind. Mm -hmm. Why would the mind create the separation for him? 
and the limitation and expectation. <laughs> the mind is also a creation. Mm. So did he create the mind? Yes. Yes. So he actually created this mind to put himself into a little box? Yes. Yes. So who holds the key to that box? He does. Yes. We all do. Why doesn't he use that key like he uses everything else? He's stubborn. Mm -hmm. Is this a little game that he plays with himself <laughs> as a creator? Yes. To he limit doesn't himself? want to help himself. Okay. Okay. So, why is it that this creator being has created this limited part of himself? <sighs> he knows and he will know. Mm -hmm. It seems to me it's almost like if you can, if you were a shoemaker and can create any type of shoe, and he decides to wear one that's too small for him. And then he complains that it's uncomfortable wearing shoes. When he himself is a shoemaker. Does that make any sense? Why is he wearing tiny shoes? It's the human lesson he agreed to. Okay, so let's talk about that human lesson now. What did he agree to experience in this lifetime? Receive. To receive? Mm hmm Tell me more about that. Guidance. Mm-hmm. Who did he agree to receive guidance from? He has many guides, mm -hmm. including himself. Yes. These guides that are helping him, was this an agreement before he was incarnated? Yes, they're his family. They're his family. Where are his family from? Is it a place? A dimension? A realm? Higher realms of light. Yes. He has met them before. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. One of the objectives for this dialogue today was for him to understand the connection that he has with his Arcturian guides. So I'm going to count from one to three. And when I get to number three, you'll be in a place in which you will very easily be able to communicate, see, and experience everything from this place where your guides are. One, two, and three. What is this place? It feels like a meeting place. Yes. What does it look like to you, this meeting place? It's a realm or a universe mm -hmm. that has space, time, a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Yes. We can meet there sometimes. Mm -hmm. 
So how many have gathered here today for this meeting? Some. Mm -hmm. Describe to me who's there. The light beings. Mm -hmm. Yes, what form do they take? What sound? What form do they take? Um, these light beings. Um, like a light body, mm -hmm. translucent. Yes. Angelic. Mm -hmm. And then there are others who are more physical, but higher dimensional. Yes. Kind of like left and right side. Mm hmm Is there a color associated with these beings? Light blue. Light blue, very good. And what is the significance of the light blue? Their is their signature. Their what they agreed on. Okay. Yes. And how many do you experience that are there? There is a group. Mm-hmm. Yes. They seem to be not connecting like the other side. They seem to be connecting through a, a middle, like there's an in-between. What is this in-between thing that they're connecting through? It's like I'm viewing them as a human mm -hmm. and they're connecting through that human guide. Yes. What they have to go through to connect with me. Mm -hmm. It's not like a soul soul connection. This middle thing, is it some sort of a communication device? Yes, like we're not high enough right now mm -hmm. to connect. Okay, so would it be like translating it into human words? Yeah, there's a, some kind of in-between translation. Yes, yes. Because otherwise they would be just vibration, is that it? Hold on. It's... I'm feeling like I connect with them through my human existence, okay. not through my higher self. Okay. Okay. So when we started this session today, we saw your higher self there. Is yes. your higher self in this meeting? Or is it in between? I feel it. It's. 
I feel disconnected right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Notice where the connection has been disconnected from. I feel like I went above it. Ah, okay. Yet below it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, find your way to that meeting once again, in whichever form works for them. For, for this, for this, for these guides. Okay. Find your way, in what, whichever way you can connect with them. And let's find out a little bit about the guides, and what their role is in the lifetime of John. I hear enhancement. Yes, enhancement. Human enhancement. Mm -hmm. So, are these guides working through John to enhance other humans? Himself. Himself. And when he enhances himself, how does that affect everything else? He glows. Mm -hmm. Yes. He attracts curiosity. Yes. And he heals. How far can his healing go? This healing is like an aspect of all that exists. Tell me more about that. Like a memory. Mm -hmm. He shares that. Mm -hmm. So we were talking before about how every cell has memories of all the lifetimes that one has lived. When John sends his energy to other people's cells, do those cells begin to remember? Is that what heals them? They experience and remember. Yes. They can experience what he has experienced. Okay. So he is sharing his cellular memory with us. Yes. Them? Okay. So if he has merged with Yeshua's, which was the Christ energy, is this what is happening with John too? Is he bringing in this energy to other people? Yes. Okay. I have to go to the bathroom. All right. I'm going to count to three. When I get to number three, you'll open your eyes and go to the bathroom. When you come back, you'll go eat even deeper. Thank you. One, two, and three. Eyes open. Discussion. of the connections that I have with everything. Mm -hmm. I've experienced it all and the connection to all. 
This is just a, a human realiz realization of it yeah. that I've already known. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Open your eyes for a moment. One, two, and three. Sleep down. Go in deep. And go in deep. Go in deep. Go deep into the cellular memories. That's it. <sighs> Go deep into the cells now. <sighs> yes. I feel the memory of animal. Yes. And also minerals. talk about the minerals because many are connected with crystals some like shells I feel lifetimes of stone mm -hmm. And the memory that exists in my cellular structure. Yes. Of Tell me about that. I go there often. What is the importance of going to this memory or place where you've experienced yourself as stone? It's just... Showing me what a memory consists of. Mm -hmm. It's not just energetic light, it's being a physical structure. Yes. As a lifetime. Or during a lifetime, it's a vibration that you can go back to for grounding purposes mm -hmm. and be it. Yes, it's an ohm. that exists within that you have been and that you are mm -hmm. and how long is a lifetime as a stone? millions of years mm -hmm. and what information or memory do you gather when you are living a lifetime as a stone? It's the aspect of how creation works. Uh -huh. By vibration and frequency. Mm -hmm. If you are it, you can create it. Yes. And as a stone, do you create also? Yes. What is it that you create when you are a stone? 
<sighs> you can create stone. So are you saying that stones can create stones? You can remember living as a stone. Mm -hmm. And that's how you create a stone. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. Tell me more about this. What happened to this stone that is creating all the pressure? What do you feel when you feel this stone? I feel... A lot of pressure. Yes. Focus in on whose pressure you're feeling. I, I think, I think it's the lower vibration mm -hmm. of a physical object. Yes. And becoming a physical object. Yes. It's thicker than the light vibration. Yes. Yes. So as a stone, can you connect as with Mother Gaia and yes. see if she is feeling this pressure now? a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Notice what's causing this pressure. I'm hearing it's a sort of release. Mm -hmm. But I'm not feeling it energetically. But I'm hearing it. Yes. What release is required? Yes, what release is required? It might be a chakra. Mm -hmm. Is this like a is this the earth chakra? Yeah, like a stone chakra I'm mm -hmm. feeling. Alright. Go deeper into it. I feel like sacral. Mm-hmm. Sacral chakra. Yes. Mm -hmm. So why don't we do something together? I want you to focus on that sacral chakra, and I'm going to sound a tuning fork for the sacral chakra and direct your attention. And let's release that energy now. Here we go.
And tell me what's happening. I feel good. I feel a pleasant mm -hmm. vibration through my whole body. Yes. Like it's mm -hmm. running through the middle chakras, mm -hmm. through the root, yes. through my feet, and out of my feet, almost like a chill. Mm -hmm. And notice where that energy is going. <sighs> where have you directed it to? The balls of my feet. Mm -hmm into the earth. Yes. <sighs> what is happening? I feel here also. Yes. What is happening within the earth as that energy is being sent out? <sighs> I almost feel it as It's going through my lungs, mm -hmm. or as if I'm breathing the vibration in, yes. and it's grounding through my body. <sighs> yes. <sighs> what has happened now? Just <sighs> being <sighs> I feel it vibrating my lips. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is it that your need, lips need to speak? <sighs> It's almost like the skull is receiving. Mm -hmm. I like my skull is vibrating yes. through my teeth, yes. which are vibrating my lips. Send that energy out now. Release it. I can release that through water mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's the ground through water. Mm -hmm. Very good. So do we have all of the information we need from the lifetime as a stone? Very good. Yes. So I'm going to count to three. When I get to number three, you'll be back into those cells. Seeing what other memory it is that is being accessed in this lifetime, one, two, and three. Where are you now? Yes. Feel it coming through my fingers. Yes. What is that that's coming through? It's very strong but soft. Mm hmm. <sighs> yes, tell me more. What is that softness that's coming through? Mm 
Mm-hmm. It's almost like I feel this, but energetically. Yes. Like the it's like the opposite of the healing process. It's like the reverse mm-hmm. as it's coming through me or into me. Yes. Are you receiving? Yes. Mm-hmm. Notice what it is that you're receiving. It's vibration. Mm-hmm. I don't see it as light, I see it as vibration. Yes. Receive this vibration. Open yourself to it. Allow the healer to receive. Where is this vibration going to? I feel it in my knees. Mm -hmm. Yes. My feet. Yes. And my fingers. Mm -hmm. Almost as it's discharging and receiving. Mm -hmm. Through my fingers at the same time. Yes. So as you're feeling the energy being discharged and received, listen for the words that will explain to you what this energy will be used for. Yes. It's only an activation or Mm -hmm. an upgrade. Okay. An upgrade for the healing? Yes, for many things. Yes. For... The whole system. The whole system. The whole body. The energetic system of mm-hmm. his body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It needs to receive and hold it before he can release it. Mm-hmm. It upgrades his system. And charges it like a battery. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and why at this time is he receiving this activation? <sighs> it was agreed on. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yes. Is that the reason he has come here today to receive this activation? To this session? Yes. Um, He's always ready for the upgrade. Yes. But this specific upgrade is It's an agreement, Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. but he wasn't expecting it. But he 
he's always expecting it. Mm -hmm. But now that this session mm -hmm. Yes. As he receives this new energy, I'd like to strike the tuning fork for the crystalline body. And let me know how that affects this new eye upgrade. It's like a body. It's like a battery. It upgrades its potential to discharge. Mm -hmm. Does this vibration resonate with this upgrade? Yes, I feel it in my fingers again. Mm -hmm. And I feel it also here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As it's vibrating here. Yes. Notice what it does with the vibration. As if it feels like my fingers are vibrating. Mm -hmm. As if as if the fork is, it feels like my fingers are actually the healing fork. Mm -hmm. oh. What's happened to the energy? <sighs> it feels like it's finding its home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like the rest of my body is vibrating similar to my hands mm -hmm. or my fingers vibrating. Very good. Very good. So now that this body has received this upgrade of energy, I'd like to address the Arcturian guides. I know that they've been in John's life helping. What would the Arcturians like to say today? What is their message? Just keep on receiving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So would it be beneficial if this were to be seen by others around the world for him to discharge this energy for a healing for those who listen? To receive it as like I'm receiving now? Yes, to send that in that energy out into the world for anyone who would view this or feel this. It's um, it's growth. Mm -hmm. It's the ladder of growth. When we first started this, it was said that there are no words for this. It's vibration, it's energy. My fingers are numb. Mm -hmm. Where has the energy gone? My hands are numb, I can't even feel my fingers. Mm -hmm. I can't feel my hand being touched. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. They're numb. Where has the energy gone from those hands? <sighs> Follow it. The vibration is so high. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. All I feel is the coldness. I don't feel mm -hmm. the heat. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. Yes. So where... In what dimension or density is that hand? It's very high. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Notice the rest of the body. Where, where is this body? Where is what? Where is this body that is vibrating so high? It feels like a tuning fork mm -hmm. as I'm touching it. Very good. It feels it's probably my whole body is vibrating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It feels like the fork will vibrate mm -hmm. if it touches me. Very good. So let's do something. I'm going to sound a tuning fork for the root chakra to get okay. you back to earth. Okay. Grounding you now. Bringing back the energy of the root. Begin to feel the fingers coming back now. That's it. Slowing down the vibration. Beginning to feel the flow once again. A release. Yes. <coughs> mm -hmm. Notice your hands. Notice your body. Mm -hmm. as the root chakra connects to Mother Earth, feeling yourself grounded once again.
So is there anything else that you would like to explore today, or do you feel that you've completed? <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> As you're coughing, notice what... This, this, something is coming out. All right, go ahead and notice what that's coming I, out. I don't know. Okay, what do you feel when you feel it, that? It feels like it's coming out of the lung, almost like a physical object. Yes, let me speak with that physical object. I'm <sighs> going to count to three and speak to it. One, two, and three. You there, that's coming out. <sighs> what are you? Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Yes, what are you? It's a blockage that's being released. Okay. Tell me about that. <sighs> yes. <sighs> Where did this blockage originate? <sighs> Follow it to its root. It's kind of in the rib cage or the lungs. Yes, yes. <sighs> yes. <sighs> yes, tell me more. <sighs> Yes. I can kind of activate it, just what I'm doing right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. <sighs> yes, what is that blockage? Give it a... I don't know. Okay, go deep into it. Zoom <sighs> into it. As if you were zooming into a computer. <sighs> what is that? <sighs> Look at the texture, the color. <sighs> what is that? Almost like it's literally either in the rib cage or in like the lung yes. tissue or lung wall. Yes, go deep into it. What is that? Uh, because it, it comes out. Yes. When I cough. Yes. <sighs> Follow it. What do you feel when you feel that? <sighs> it feels like what? <sighs> yes. Uh, it could be from the oxygen I breathe. Yes. <sighs> yes, focus in. Or the, uh, the energetic carbon dioxide that I breathe. Yes. From the release. Yes. Of the human body. Yes. <sighs> Keep going. Keep going deeper. It's like a balancing of it. All right. So what does it need for it to be balanced? <sighs> it's like it's filtering the air I breathe. Mm -hmm. And that's the product of the filtering. All right, very good. So I'm going to sound the tuning fork for the lungs so that your lungs can be activated and get out everything that's in there that doesn't belong there. Allow the lungs to work to get all of that out. <sighs> yes. It's not happy. Uh huh. Yes. <sighs> yes. It's not happy that I can do it mm -hmm. by myself. Yes. <sighs> Talk to it. Make friends with it. Talk to those lungs. <sighs> what does it need to filter out all of that? <sighs> it's the low vibration. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I can feel vibration in everything. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. And I can feel what's filtered for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. And where does it get stuck? <sighs> what is it want? Where does it get stuck? What is that energy that needs to come it out? Gets, it's not a chakra. It's more like my body's natural filtering system mm -hmm. to protect itself yes 
And I don't know if that's an energetic filter or a physical filter. Mm -hmm. But I think it's both. All right, so we're moving the lungs now, reminding the lungs of how to work. So go ahead and take a moment and just cough out any of that energy that's <sighs> left in there. Cough it all out, get it all out. Release it all. And notice how that's feeling. Mm -hmm. How does that feel now? Well, I just feel the awareness. Mm -hmm. feel mm -hmm. as if I'm holding the tuning fork. Yes. Yes. Notice the fingers. Are they back? I don't know what's numb. Which hand mm -hmm. is numb? I can't figure it out. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I can feel the bones. Yes. But I can't feel the heat or the energy. Mm -hmm. It's like it's numb. So, is there anything else do you feel that we are complete for today? I think we are, I think. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Connect with the guides. Is there anything else that needs to be said or done today? <sighs> Did Yeshua have a message? Does Mother Mary have a message? I think the message that I keep on hearing is... Yes. I don't need to learn anything mm -hmm. in a session um, of any kind. Mm -hmm. <sighs> My hand is still vibrating like crazy. Okay, so let's do this. Close your eyes. I'm going to count from one to five with each number. You'll be coming back more and more. And when I get to number five, you'll come back with complete control of your mind and your body. One and five, wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful, rooted all over. Feel your hands. How does that feel? Is the blood moving again? Yes. Mm-hmm. That was quite, quite an experience, huh? Yes. Um, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Did it go well? <laughs> it's never going to be normal with you. <laughs> um, no, it was. It was fine. You I, were able um, to. You, I mean, there's some stuff that was. That was. It's uh, weird, but I'm saying it's glad. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I finally admitted it yeah. that what I always knew was true is true. Yeah. Um, especially with the creator mm -hmm. um, connection. Yeah. Um, That's where you're getting your power source from. Yeah. And I. There's um, no substations there. You're going directly from the power source. Yeah. And. Um, I know when that has arrived during my healing sessions yeah. or even just my thought process, I can feel the 
I've even had myself reference as my son um, if I'm doing like a long distance healing um, I can feel whether the client is very angelic or angelic connected or mm -hmm. if they pray a lot mm -hmm. I will actually do an angelic healing for them or on them and I'll keep on hearing my son my son as I'm doing it, meaning myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, if I keep on hearing my son, then who could I be? And then it's like, and then I feel like, who could I be? And I'm like, <laughs> then the realization comes to me who I am. Yep. It's just crazy. It's just crazy yep. that the voice is... God. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's familiar. Yes, and I would never say it because it would come off too egotistically to anybody else. Oh, well, not to the people who yes who are I'm into glad this. They I experienced it. it as I yeah. was speaking, and, and not just saying, "Oh well, I've experienced this." Yes, you or, felt I've it. I've realized this. Um, you were getting it. That was real. I can go a little further. A lot of times when I astral travel, I told you when I go astral travel, I go interdimensional, but sometimes I'll still astral travel on the earth plane. Yes. And I'll just view the earth in a physical plane, and I'll actually hear the the vibration, like, ooh, you know, the ohm of the yeah. earth is beautiful. It yeah. almost sounds like a train sitting at a station, the locomotive, like when you hear one from far away, yes. it's got that low vibration. Yes. But it's like, I've been that vibration. I've been, because that vibration is everything in the earth that's vibrating, the stone, the water, and I've been all of that. Yes. And so you, it's amazing when I hear the earth. Yeah. So it's, Because I've been the stone right. in the earth. What I got from it is, is that you're, you come in here and this body carries every memory of every lifetime that you've ever lived. But you can't access it if you haven't lived it. But when you are around them, it's like you're almost gifting them with the ability of to access some of this information. And, and I think that includes through the, the, uh, the Akash also. Mm -hmm. Um, because a lot of times when I speak to people, there's stuff that comes through me, and it's like, why did I just tell you that? And it's like, oh my God, yeah, I can't believe you just said that. It's like I've been, it's just perfect that they need to hear it, and not only is it coming through my human cells, it's coming through the, all the connections and all the memories they have, which is the Akash. That's all memory. Yeah. You're tapping into their cells yes. is really what you're doing. It's, it seems like we carry everything in our, in our DNA. and it's hard, it's hard to tell somebody that, though, <laughs> <laughs> what I feel. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard. I mean, because I'm laying here, and then you're going, th when you were doing this, when you were closing my eyes to, like, yes. number five, then I felt like, not the separation, but I felt the zone. Mm -hmm. um, but then you, like you said, as I started speaking, it, I started changing, um, not my reality, but I was going to that space where I experienced it. And the Jesus experience, too, was pretty cool. Um, when I got to that place, it was kind of like a temple. Uh huh. Um. Now you experienced in the desert with your wife and baby. Yes. Was that Yeshua? Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. And I think. And you were le you were leaving to go somewhere. We didn't we didn't continue, but it was like Some, somewhere I knew. Yes. Either it was the the space or the energetic space on the planet, or the actual energetic 
um, of the person who was going to connect me to my father or show me how to connect me to my father. Um, that was the purpose of going there or to opening up of mm -hmm. uh, like an aware an awareness higher than myself. Yes. Um, it seems like the past lives I'm not really interested no. about like on this no, planet. No, no, nope. It feels like this is my first and last time here. Do you know what I mean? Yes. That's what it feels like. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, because, because I don't have any. I hate to say this, but I don't have any lessons to learn, and I don't have any baggage. Yes. Because like karmic baggage from past lives, so that's why it feels like my first time here yes. and my last. Mm-hmm. I don't and know if that just, makes sense or not. Yeah, you're just here to do the job of healing. Yeah. So, John, do you want to share this? You think it's I worth think, it? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think so. Oh, yeah, definitely did. Um, there's a lot of breathing in between, but that's okay. Oh, me, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that, that's normal. When I breathe, that's like the change of yes. frequency or energy or the different... Yes. Even when I do my healings. Yes. Um, when when I go to a different chakra or a different body part, I almost have to um, clear yes. the whole system yep. because there's a new energy loading up for that body part or that yes. chakra. Yep. So I go somewhere else for that. So in between each breath, you're, you're really... Yeah, yeah, and connecting to something different. Isn't that interesting? All right, John. So this is a very interesting adventure. Okay. So, tell everybody where you're from. Um, physically? Yeah, um, I'm physically. From, I'm from Long Island, New York. Yes. Um, I am a healer. Um, I was never taught. So. Yes. Um, yes. So, I'm doing healings now. Um, and what does it entail for you to do a healing on someone? Um, when they come to you and... A, a healing is just, just like what I spoke about. It's just sharing um, my vibra my vibrational fingerprint. Yes. Um, kind of um, just activates the entire body, chakras mm -hmm. and the physical body too, and even the mind. There's, nice. you know, people just have uh, epiphanies when they get off the table. Like, where did that come from? Beautiful. But anyway, um, I'm going to be doing it... Um, I'm about to retire, so it's going to be a business. Um, so, so he has a, a normal, like a normal job right now, but yes. he does this on the side. So, yeah. So, is there a place where they can contact you right now? Um, I'm not on Facebook. That will come with um, when time? I retire. Okay. Um, I do have an email, um, not an, e uh, an email address that if anybody wants to contact me, I will share with them. I okay. will speak but, with them, or you know. So, do you want to put it out there now, and I can put it above us here? Yeah. Um, can we we're, post it late, maybe we're, later? We're going to share the email uh, yeah. that where you can contact John. So if you want to experience this, do you do this over the phone too, um, or you want to be you you do this in person? I like doing healings in person. Person, I have done remote healings from yes other states. Um, I'm not really super comfortable with that. Um, <laughs> they are working. Yes, I just feel more comfortable if someone in is in front of me. Yeah, I do speak to people on the phone um and they're like oh my god you just healed me yeah. um but have, we spoke about that earlier yes, i have a feeling that's going to be maybe in the future it I'm is yeah that. yeah but good so how did you feel about this session you've uh, never been hypnotized never, before never. and what did it feel like felt like normal right what um yeah it felt it felt um I was a little anxious, but we spoke before, so yeah. I didn't want to say anything that was like non-believable, but all the non-believable stuff that I said actually didn't come from here. Right. It was yeah. from the actual vibration that... Mm -hmm. So it was good? Yeah. Yes. So imagine once you get comfortable with it, the next time it'll be really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Terrific. So... Uh, you know, you stayed overnight here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're in Micanopy, Florida, and, and you stayed overnight. How did you feel last night coming here? You felt. What did you feel from the land? Uh, the, the land is great. Um, for me, it was very moving, um, literally. Yeah, the ground was moving. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> and grounding. Yes. 
Yeah. And peaceful. Good. Do you yeah. recommend coming out here? I do. For, yes. For that. Yeah, I think it's it's a good it's a good thing because these trees are magnificent and they do give out their own energy and I think the the whole place really has a a healing effect too. Just just the land um just the, you know the trees are mm -hmm. almost like another like another person you're seeing another person it's another uh yeah. you know, it's another being. So. Yeah. So they've been eavesdropping the whole time in mm -hmm. the session. So this was a really interesting session. So if you want a session with me, just go to my website, albawoman.com. Sign up for my newsletter, and it comes out once a month. And I and, know. And that's how I got it through that's the newsletter. How you got it. And it was perfect timing. I waited a year to, to finally contact there her, you go. and it was perfect timing. Yes. I couldn't have did it if I would have would have been able to schedule three months ago, just logistically, and yeah. it, it was perfect when I, when that's I did how, it. That's how it works when someone. Mm -hmm is telling me I can't get a session, I can't get a session. It's not the right timing. Mm -hmm. We have guides that open doors for you when those doors are supposed to open. And if they're not supposed to be there yet, they're not going to let those doors open for you. So don't get frustrated about not getting a session. When it's your time, it'll be your time. Yes. I have full faith in all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, so... Yeah, and I knew that. Some people don't, but... Yeah, and I wasn't going crazy. I knew... Um, when the time was right, the time would be right. So Yeah. So, thank you all for watching. Until the next time, <coughs> much love to you. Bye-bye. Can I get out of there? Sure, sure you can. Oh. <laughs>